The Kentucky has been climbing this mountain for years, and now they're facing the biggest opportunity of their volleyball career. We can do this. We're going to do this, and we need to start thinking like that. From here going forward, it's not an if, it's a when. When we make it to the Final Four, when we win a national championship, when we get to the Final Four, this is how we're going to play. And when we get to the national championship, this is how we're going to play to win. If today was a Final Four, would I be happy with how much effort I'm giving or how much work I'm putting in right now? If today was a Final Four, would this be enough? That's something I think that we just really spoken into existence and the more you say it, the more you believe it. And by the end, we were all fully, fully believing it and bought in. The second that you start talking like that, so do other people. And the second that people see that you're taking it that serious, other people start taking it that serious. We changed the mentality in general about winning and about the tournament and about the championship. What do you guys want to be known for? You know, and, and we said the word legendary. We always really enjoy the preseason games because we can play out of conference and get to see teams that we don't usually get to see until the tournament. We have an awesome class coming in. Um, we have so much experience as upperclassmen. Our juniors have great experience. We are able to scrimmage each other and our, we always talk about it, but our B-side is absolutely amazing and is the reason why we have are able to play at such a high level because we play against them every single day in practice. This is the most determined group that I've ever been a part of, the most bought in, the most determined. The fall was good for us. We went to went to Mizzou, had a really good match there, a couple matches there. We're pushed for sure. Um, I still feel like we were looking for our identity a little bit. Our mentality was, okay, we were pretty good in the fall, but we have so much more to get better at. I think honestly what made us super successful was the fact that our freshmen had a considerable longer time to get acclimated to practice. Having the time to come back and have another kind of preseason for our freshmen was key. We got back in the spring and really started grinding it out and I think we really found our identity. I think our confidence built so much and I think that was huge for our underclassmen to just kind of develop physically, yes, but the mental aspect that our freshmen went through in the spring was um, huge. When we got back in January, everyone was like, we have three months. To win this thing, it's go time. Harley Montre serving at match point. Out to Maddie Skinner. Gators block it. Holly Carlton and Lauren Dooley block it to end Kentucky's three match win streak in this series. Florida, obviously, every time we play them, it's a challenge. No matter how good either team is, really. It's going to be a good game just from the history. I think that was just the first time that we had had real adversity as a team. I think getting in that situation where we hadn't been before, we hadn't been down, we hadn't had to really fight in those tight moments. Um, we were a little caught off guard and we just kind of fought too late. We all got back in the locker room and we wanted to just play the next match right then. We wanted to get out there right then and play again because we knew we had so much more to prove. We were not done. I think that they challenged us. And I think that we responded in every way possible. It wasn't going to change our trust with each other, um, but that we needed to make a few tweaks. And obviously the game plan that we came out with um, worked very, very well. And the Kentucky Wildcats have snapped the Florida Gators 12 match winning streak. It's so easy to be frustrated, be upset in the moment, but ultimately that shaped our identity. And I think we really needed that prior to Omaha. I don't think we would be sitting here without it. I think really just was the turning point for our season. And it really showed us like, when we all lean in and when we all, you know, put our heads in and play our best, or not even our best, but just play as good as we all know we can, um, a lot of really special things can happen. They celebrate a fourth consecutive Southeastern Conference Championship. It was the most fulfilling um, SEC championship of my career. To be able to play a different looking season, to be able to adapt to that, just to battle through that adversity and, and ultimately still be able to play the best of our ability and, and get it done, it was huge. Four for four, what's better? I'm running out of fingers for rings. It's not something that most people get to experience. And so being able to do it um, in this year of such, it being such a hard year and also just with the three other seniors, it just meant so much. Winning the SEC and getting that fourth ring was something that 
we had set out to do when we were freshmen, and so to actually like complete that goal um, was just really cool. We have another championship to go for, and we're gonna get it done, okay? And it's gonna take one day at a time. We got to Omaha, we all kind of settled into our routines, got into a rhythm, um, and ultimately I think that that really shaped our experience in Omaha. I think it helped us immensely to have that routine and to have that consistency. There definitely were nerves, but once we got there and we were able to kind of get a lay of the land, get comfortable where we were, there were not as many. We went in with the mindset of no matter what happens, like we want to be the team that's best at adjusting. We like really prided ourselves in being able to be super adaptable, and I think that like really helped us. We put our spandex on the same way they do, the same way we did a month ago. We play volleyball with the same type of ball. Everything is a constant. We're playing with our favorite people, so just kind of remembering it's it's a game. We're lucky to be here, but it's a game. Just. Stay in the moment, compete, do what we do best, and that is just compete as hard as we can, and the rest will follow. We're getting used to what they do. We settle in and play volleyball. Okay, second thing is we've been waiting since August freaking 4th to have a chance mm -hmm. to play in this thing. Okay, so we're gonna play hard, we're gonna play intense, but we're gonna have fun doing it. Okay, and they need to see in your eyes you're gonna get after them the whole night. once and you're done with it, I'm talking every time the whistle blows, you're imposing your will, regardless of what just happened, okay? We're just keeping moving forward each and every time. The calendar may say 2021, 
but we are about to crown a champion in the NCAA Volleyball Tournament for the year 2020, the Washington Huskies. You can't keep a good dog down. They might be clicking on all cylinders. We might be thriving and kicking on all cylinders too. Okay, when the adrenaline rolls off, that's when we start to play Kentucky Volleyball. Once we were there, I have never been more confident and I'm so glad and I know why. It's because we had been training for so long. We definitely felt like we deserved to be there and we wanted to show other people who didn't believe that. We felt like we belonged and we definitely vocalized that to our team a lot. Madison was very adamant about that. I was very adamant about that. Telling our, our freshmen, hey, you belong here. You're good enough. We as a team, we're good enough to do this. And so let's just do it. Let's just play. Like, let's just play together. Let's enjoy this moment. It's Kentucky Volleyball. This, let's not think of it as the national championship. This is what we've been waiting for. It's, let's just play. Throughout the whole tournament, it was kind of like, we don't have to do anything special. We don't have to play perfect. Like, our good is good enough, and our good is going to get us the championship. We knew that that was going to be the toughest game that we played because it is a national championship and everyone is firing on all cylinders. Live from Omaha, Nebraska, the 40th NCAA Volleyball Championship match. The Kentucky Wildcats, their first ever national championship appearance. The opponent, the Texas Longhorns, looking for the third championship in their storied history. I am strong. What a good block and Curry run it down, she does. Azani Taylor with the read. A serve by Ali Stumler. Oh, what a block. Look how big Madison Lilly plays. In the spotlight. Into the block. I know for a solid five minutes, the four seniors were hugging like heads to head, thinking how big is this moment? And we're celebrating this together. A four years coming and we finally did it. I don't think that there has really to date ever been an example of hard work paying off like it did in the national championship. Really the final four in general, I feel like that's the best volleyball I've ever participated in and I've ever seen. We all knew what we were all capable of. It's just a matter of can you do it in that big moment? And so it was just really neat that everyone was able to do that and perform at such a high level on that big stage. To see the growth in the sport of volleyball and then the state of Kentucky as well as obviously our program individually, um, is something really cool and something that I think we all would want to be remembered by. This team works harder than any other team I've ever been on. We all understood that if our team wanted to be the best we can be, we individually needed to be the best we can be. No matter what the outcome is, like we played our hardest every single point of every single match. I hope this team is known for um, just our ability to lift each other up, our ability to buy in, 
and ultimately the ability to just be absolutely determined to, to make things happen because we know we were capable of it, but it was just a matter of um, believing it. I've never been on a team where every single person is fully dedicated to the common goal and that's exactly how it was this year. There was not one outlier and everyone was really just built into the process and really bought into the process and trusting what Craig and Anders and all of our coaches were telling us and trusting ourselves um, and trusting each other and I think that's why we were so successful is we were just able to lean in um, and do it as one team. The most amazing accomplishment. You guys are freaking unbelievable in that match. That match was unbelievable. Yeah. So, yeah. Hard. So, so, hard. Hard. so good. Think about the hours and time we put into this. Oh, wow. When I left Nebraska in 2004, Megan and I decided to come to Kentucky and there was a couple dreams. The first dream was to build a program like the one we just left and win national championships. To do that, the first thing I wanted our players to do was play in such a way that people would run out of the stands and want to join us. We can say that we were part of the first Kentucky national championship as well as the 11th program ever in history to win a national championship in volleyball. And we did that. It's been a long time coming and we're here and we are not stopping. I am so proud of this program.